San Francisco is embracing its role as a sanctuary city with a plan to hire lawyers using tax dollars to help immigrants who face deportation. With more than 40,000 undocumented immigrants, one county leader says it's important that they have legal help. Claudia Cowan has more from San Francisco. Break this one down for us. What's it going to cost? Well, uh, M Melissa, already New York and Chicago have uh, paved the way here, setting aside public funds to help fight deportations. Now San Francisco is considering doing something similar. They're talking about creating a universal deportation support system. Basically, this is legal assistance for illegal immigrants. And at a recent rally here on the steps of San Francisco City Hall, county supervisors gathered with former detainees to announce the legislation. It would set aside $5 million to hire more lawyers to help illegal immigrants who are facing deportation, including those who've been arrested for other crimes in this country. County Supervisor David Campos says he's worried about President-elect Donald Trump's idea to deport millions of illegal immigrants, and he defends this use of tax dollars. We're going to invest uh, the resources needed to make sure that the 44,000 undocumented people who live in the city and county of San Francisco have, at a minimum, legal representation if they're taken into immigration court. But critics say moves like this continue to lay out the welcome mat for illegal immigrants threatening national security. We've seen for the past two administrations at least encouragement to illegal immigrants. What we need to be sending is a message around the world, a message of discouragement to reduce the flow to our border. That'll make securing the border easier. Now, this legislation to hire more immigration defense attorneys is working its way through the various budget committees here at City Hall with a final vote expected sometime early next year. But eventually, city officials may also have to consider which city programs are going to have to go mm -hmm. because uh, President-elect Trump has also vowed to cut federal funding to these so-called sanctuary cities. And, Melissa, here in San Francisco, that total could be a billion dollars a year or more. Back All right. To you. Claudia, thank you so much.